Do guns belong in church? Well, a Southside man believes the answer is yes and spent his Saturday training pastors how to concealed carry their firearms. 10 News reporter Taj Simmons was there and tells us why they feel it's important to stay armed at the altar. Well, so we got a double action semi-automatic. Mm -hmm. Willie Green knows guns and he has made a living passing on his knowledge to people in and around Martinsville. But these students know less about guns and more about the good book. If anybody needs to be uh, armed, the, the pastors are able to protect themselves while they're delivering the word. These are all pastors who believe a gun could be their church's best defense Take a deep breath. against a deadly attack. Yeah. Good. Even though this is a small town and small city, people may not think it may happen here, but it can happen anywhere. More than a dozen pastors flocked into Green's concealed carry class. All right, let's take this hand here, and I want you to rotate your hand just like that. Green made this class free for all of the interested pastors because he believes churches are especially vulnerable. Criminals see the churches as soft targets. You know, they don't, they, they're not looking for resistance. They're looking to be able to go in and just do whatever they want to. While state lawmakers continue to debate gun control measures in Richmond, pastors in the class, including Larry Luffman, said none of it matters if a shooter storms into church tomorrow. Every church has to be aware of their surroundings and being aware of the times in which they live. Uh, in, and I think just equipping your people. After all, our ministry is about people. Green believes people in church are protected by a higher power. Always keep your finger off the trigger until it shoots. But says they could also use some high powered security down here on earth. Our pastors, you know, they're, they're praying for our souls while you're doing it spiritually, but physically too, you may have to protect himself as well as his flock. In Martinsville, Taj Simmons, 10 News, working for you. Now.